the singing for me was, I mean, I knew you as a, a serious actor and, mm -hmm. and, and play school, of course, but I saw you in Chicago in Sydney. Oh, thank And you. I went, wow, <laughs> this guy's really good. And thank I so suddenly knew you were a singer. Thank you, yeah. It's so interesting because when I did Les Mis, um, you know, I was 25 or 24 or something, and I went straight on to some several leading roles in musicals after that there and in the West End, and I still kept selling myself short as a singer because I thought I was an actor. So I just kept saying, yeah, I'm just an actor who sings. And then you get to like, you know, your 12th or 14th, you know, year long musical and you go, you can't actually use, the, you actually are a singer as well as an actor. And um, it's a nice way to come to singing. I think that's what I sort of, that's why I want to do this show tonight because I've come to singing a very different, I'm an actor who sings, but has been singing for a long time. And it's just interesting how your life and your experience informs your singing as much as, as it does your acting. Um, you know, singing a song that I sang in Les Mis 25 years ago, Empty Chairs and Empty Tables, is completely different to singing it now um, as a man in my late 40s, let's say. <laughs> that, you already did the math when you told us you were at 13. <laughs> you know. Damn you guys! <laughs>